guys, so today I'm going to be doing a updated skincare routine. I have switched my products probably entirely since I've mentioned them on my channel and I have also switched to a lot more natural products. So I feel like I've been prioritizing like health and putting things into your body that are good for it and that are going to make you live longer, healthier, and happier. I'm excited and I hope that these are working. I have really breakout prone skin, at least I think I do. Obviously the camera doesn't show it, but it can be so annoying. Like I get the pesky pimple too and I'm really over it and I think this has been helping so that was kind of long let's just get into the video first off I wanted to talk about a deodorant which I've switched to and I switched to natural deodorant probably like three to four months ago but I recently switched over to the native deodorant and they were kind enough to send me a ton of their different scents I have gotten to try out a ton of them my favorite is the coconut vanilla and they are just paraben free aluminum free natural ingredients there's like coconut oil beeswax I think switching to a natural deodorant was something I personally wanted to do just because I know how bad aluminum is for you and just like the small steps that you can take to be healthier and to take care of yourself I think is really really important but they have a ton of different scents they also have big and honey lychee and goji berry oh this one smells so good and unscented which I think I'm gonna give to my dad because I want him to try it out too if you have not switched over to natural deodorant I think it's just such an easy thing to do so I will link native below okay that's enough deodorant talk for like a long time I'm gonna go in the order that I take off my makeup we're gonna go with that the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I just have the miniature, but I've purchased like three of these mini ones. They last forever, and I just use them around my eye area because I don't really find them helpful for the face, but I feel like you could also use like a coconut oil, and I'm kind of interested in trying that. And then once I have the majority of makeup removed, I have been using um, the oil cleansing method, and I'm not an expert by any means on this subject, so I will link some of the articles that I read, the research that I did before starting it, just so if you are interested you can get kind of like the expert opinion on it but basically the idea is that you use natural oils to cleanse your face and it is supposed to be really effective at pulling away toxins and being really natural and really soothing and gentle in your skin. I think it's the most gentle way to wash your face. Basically, I have created this little bottle of oil, which I use as my face wash and majority of the time moisturizer. And I will explain and kind of go into what oils I use on my face. Before I do, um, I wanted to explain the process of oil cleansing. So I take my oil mixture and I will put about a quarter size amount, I would say, on my hands, and I will apply it to my entire face and I'll massage it in with my hands. I also apply it to my neck and chest, and I'll massage it for probably about 30 seconds, just making sure I'm kind of reaching all the areas of my face and I'm really getting into all the, like, nooks and crannies I guess. While I'm doing this I'll be running some hot water and then I'll take a washcloth and dampen it with the hot water and I just let that sit on my face for 20 to 30 seconds and I'll count down and kind of use this as a time to relax, take a few seconds, just really nice and you can feel all of your pores opening and then you don't rinse with water or anything. I just take the washcloth and wipe away the oil which has soaked up all the dirt and then it just removes it from your face and if you are feeling like if I was wearing a lot of makeup I might do it twice but usually one time is enough and then I'll just pat the excess oil into my skin and that is all that I do for cleansing and moisturizer on most nights. I have been really enjoying this. It keeps my skin extremely hydrated. I find that when I'm using acne products, um, which I've almost eliminated out of my skincare routine, it, my face would be flaky all the time and my oil control is just so off balance. So I have found this really helpful and I'm sure it's not for everyone, but it has been working really well for me even though I do have acne prone skin. So there are different oils that are for different types of skin. The ones that I have been using and are in my little oil solution, the main one is 100% pure jojoba oil. I read that jojoba oil is the closest to your skin's natural oil that it produces. So I use this for the majority of my mixture. My mom got me this oil and I haven't read anything on this oil. Oil, I just put it in because 
I had it on me and it's supposed to be really good for breakout prone skin but this is Moringa oil. Another one um, recommended for acne prone skin is castor oil. Most oil cleansing methods only recommend using about 10% of your solution as castor oil because it can be very drying. Also put just a splash of tea tree oil but it is known to help soothe the skin and help with acne and it also makes my oil smell really good if you like the smell of tea tree. It's kind of like an earthy smell. And those are all the oils that I use on my face. I've had If I had a lot of makeup on or if I feel like I need like kind of a good scrub, I'll go in with like a gentle face cleanser. I've been using the Aveeno Positively Radiant. Um, moving into the two moisturizers that I use, if I use moisturizer, like I said, I've been trying to just limit my products and just do the oil. But when I do use moisturizer, my favorite is the Clinique Dramatically Different Gel Moisturizer. I love the stuff. I've been using it forever. I've gone through so many of these and everyone talks about this. I will also use this at night. Two other products that I wanted to mention if you're really struggling with acne. This is Different Gel and this used to be only available through a dermatologist but now they do sell it over the counter at Target and this is what my dermatologist recommended to buy. This is like the large tube so I think it was like $30 but they also have a $12 tube if you want to try it and you just apply this nightly. You mix it in with your moisturizer and this dried out my skin a ton so I'm trying not to use it um, but I think this is probably what helps clear my skin up the most so definitely give it a try if you haven't and then prescribed for my dermatologist I also use like I said I'm kind of trying to like wean off of it right now but this is clindamycin lotion um, I wouldn't like recommend this one you can get over the counter but this is prescription only so I would recommend going to a dermatologist and seeing what they say for serums I don't use them a ton it's more of an occasional use I really love the Ole 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 Henriksen. I don't know how you pronounce it. Does anyone really know? Truth Serum and the Invigorating Night Transformation Gel. I really love the Truth Serum though. This is probably my go-to. Then before I go to bed, I will spray the infamous Mario Badescu Rose Facial Spray. Except for I was talking to one of my friends and she said that there are ingredients in this that aren't super great. So I know they have a um, rose water spray at Trader Joe's and probably some other natural ones. So I actually, I don't think I'm going to repurchase this, but I've been using a facial spray before bed since I was six or seven my mom would always spray a, an Aveda rose water spray on me so I think that is like an essential thing it also is just really comforting finally when I wake up in the morning I don't actually wash my face because it's not recommended to wash your face with the oil cleansing method in the morning you're not supposed to need to but I will find sometimes that if I have residue from the night I like to go in with a toner and a cotton pad and I've been using the Thayer's witch hazel this is supposed to be very good for acne it you know takes everything off in the morning kind of cleanses my skin and refreshes the last and final product that I'm going to mention is this jade roller basically it dates back to like Chinese medicine jade is supposed to be like naturally healing and detoxifying which could very well be baloney but I do believe that it is really good in the morning for depuffing your face getting the blood circulation going it helps with lymphatic drainage it feels really nice it feels very luxurious and um, I have a really puffy face in the morning so this helps a ton so I think that concludes my skincare routine I hope you guys enjoyed this and found some new products if you did like it give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video